but as a nation, no, I'm just there and I'm it. I never have no political aspiration growing up. But I want to make more run for MP. It's your just 50, Papa. Yeah, I mean, more. Yeah, I mean, more. Yeah, it's your 50. Blessed day my people, so in today's video we're going to talk about Vibes Cartel officially revealing the prices for his Freedom Street concert and you don't know it get kind of mixed reactions from some of the fans them also we see somebody singing uh, um, like basically them are compare it with Burner Boy, Bojo Banton and Chris Brown concert you understand and the person has said you know Cartel them need to do better as it relates to their prices so I'm showing you the post and only can tell more anything about all of this you understand um, separately from that we're going to talk about some prisoners releasing more footage about the bad treatment that they are facing behind bars also we're going to talk about Sean Storm finally address persons calling out Free Vibes Cartel but not Free Sean Storm because you know people always have the um, Free Vibes Cartel campaign but we never really see people as a Free Sean Storm well let's see people do it you know, but not like a lot of times you understand what I say anyway Sean Storm finally address it also we're going to talk about RT Boss revealing more information on an alleged lawsuit against Dance all Queen Spice, and also we're gonna talk about Queen Africa bigging up popcorn for staying loyal to Vibes Cartel, no matter what. Yes, it, my people. Also, we're gonna talk about Vibes Cartel sharing his views on politics and why he would actually run for MP. And also, Vibes Cartel link up with one of them big comedian there over in a Panama. So, I'm showing them videos there. Yes, it. Also, we're gonna talk about Massacre, Dexadaps, and TJ, who are some of the persons who won at the Caribbean Music Awards last night. And also, we're gonna talk about being a man accusing producer Jiggy D father of scamming him and also we're gonna talk about Skilly Bang and Skeng link up and it kind of seem like they're gonna shoot a music video so you know that kind of catch some people reactions because you know at one point them says Skeng and Skilly Bang not like each other some argument like that so what we'll about it but before we're gonna further into the topics don't forget to like this video don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed yet and click the notification bell put it on all that way you can get notified when I post a new video all right people the first thing we're gonna talk about is this lawsuit that dancehall queen spice is allegedly facing and the reason why i say allegedly because i'm not 100 percent sure that what rt boss is saying i really saw it go but he make a couple posts and of course you know say this is like what well, i think at the second time where you bought some lawsuit against spice but him did put out a post as him couldn't give out much information yet on it. You understand, people? So today, him actually make a couple posts, and we just have to talk about the post them, right? So one of the posts, him say, I want to assure my fans that I have filed multiple lawsuits in regards to the allegations that have been placed on my name. I am unable to speak on the matter until litigations are complete. I will keep you posted on the matter. And him go on to say, there is a court date set for Narda Smith versus versus Grace Latoya Hamilton in Atlanta, defamation of character, $7 million in damaging. Yes, it, my people. And you don't know the defamation lawsuit we might talk about is because Spice had come out and say RT boss did must do something to a little boy. Or, I don't know, I think she did get a youth for come out and say some things. You know, say RT boss did hold him down and take it her. Some argument like that. Yes, it, my people. So, I guess he's saying that, you know, a defamation of character and all of that. Yes, it. So, when See the money we my so are for, or we say my so are for seven million US dollars, my people, and that is a whole lot of money. Yes, it. If I really saw it go, but what for a chance see what's going to happen? Only can tell me anything about this in the comment section. But also, with this RT boss step on live, what do you talk about? Say Spice is going to die on them something. Yes, it. Never really like them talk they still because at the end of the day, no matter if you don't like somebody, you never want for which dead upon them, my people. See, you? check out that clip here. Now let me prophesy. The queen of dancehall shall die. Grace Latoya Almentan. Jamaica will mourn for Latoya Almentan. Full force. Me a voodoo yo. Me a science yo. Me a hobia yo. Me a do every blood clot. And when me can do me a pay people. Yeah, so as I said, no matter how much you know, like somebody, you don't want to wish down certain things upon them because at the end of the day, you know, you, you have to be careful where you put out there because it will bounce back upon you. Even though during that same live, you know, people, him say, 
him ago pass away one year after Spice pass away. You understand? So I don't know. But let me know anything about this in the comment section, is it? So the next thing we're going to talk about is Vibes Cartel sharing his views as to why he would run for member of parliament and, you know, basically try to give the people um, a better life and show them that things can be better and them things, is it? Cartel also talk about people protesting, like certain protests were still going on in Jamaica, like people are protesting for basic needs like water and light and them things. So, you know, Vibes Cartel, when it comes to politics, he's not a political person but him, it seemed like you know as something him definitely i think both for doing at the future so i played a video the first and then we're gonna move on to the other video where as me telling the same link up with one comedian it seems because me don't know the youth but obviously a panama him come from because of in a panama cartel there and um you know, I'm go up on the youth page. Can't understand thing. Obviously, you wouldn't speak English and thing. But anyway, check out that clip here where Cartel has speak about politics first. Mm -hmm. But as a nation, no, I'm just there and I'm met. I never have no political aspiration growing up. But I want to make more run for MP in the future. Just for show the people them say, bro, when life can better. Politician can do more. You know them here? Come here, meds it. You know how I made a watch on the, on the internet. I'm here, meds it. I'm here, say, blood clad. You know them day and age here. Yeah. Jamaica people still a black road and a protest about basic things. Good road, light, electricity, and running water. Holy for school, basic school, primary school, these didn't have running water, proper sewage system. Them things they are basic thing when we should even be no problem. A modern time now in the twenty first century, them things they should be no problem. You know? So I yeah, man. So where do you think, my people? If Cartel should run for member of parliament, and I feel like he would have win. Honestly, I feel like Cartel would have win still. I don't go around him. I feel like he would have win. Just based on popularity, I feel like he would have win. Without a doubt. And I feel like it would be like a landslide win. Yes, it. But Cartel, you know, them money, when it comes to like knowledge and, you know, being a sensible person, him, him full of that. You understand, my people? So, I can watch and see what's going to happen in the future. And I guess when I can tell me when I think, is it? Now, as I tell you, it's a cartel, link up with one comedian. And the youth did a speak in a Spanish. Yes, it. A Spanish, yes. Spanish, him did a speak in a thing. And, you know, cartel just did a vibe. And, you know, just a little video for you. Make some of you laugh and think, my people. Yes, it. So, yeah, check out that clip here. 850, papa. Ya lo mismo. Ya lo mismo. Ya 850. Huh? It's not up here in the parking and Vibes Cartel. But by Cartel? Yes. Two bike? Put the put the put the put the put the put the If you don't need five man, you're still. Then you see, there's a side of the you see, there's a side of the passage. La Machina. Mano. Yeah, man. So when you see what I go on. Cartel I enjoy himself in a Panama. Remember World Boss yeah, Costa Rica next in his it. Why him never get a better name World Boss cause seem like Cartel a plan for travel the whole world right now before the year done. <laughs> Every other week, he man gone a different place. Yes, he is it? Can't blame him. 13 years behind bars. Travel the world, yeah, brother. Any of my people, let me know anything about this in the comment section. Yes, he is it? Next thing we're going to talk about is Vibes Cartel and the concert prices. Them see my people. Now, one of the cartel concert is set for December the 31st, right? And it's going to be held at the National Stadium. Now, currently, it is getting mixed reactions based on the prices, them, because I think the most expensive price, me see, is 10,000 US dollar, I believe, a 10,000 US dollar. So, you know, yeah, look, pan, that's about uh, 1.5 million Jamaican dollars, something like that. Now, honestly, the only thing I can say for all of the people who have problems, if you can't afford that, go with a different package. You understand what I say? It has various packages, my people. And I'm going to put them up on the screen right now, Zine. So, um, Basically, when you can see it, cycle track is ten thousand US dollars. If you want to read what underneath it, you can read it as well. But I'm not gonna read it out. Yes, it and them says cycle track continued. Then you have center stage that's for one thousand five hundred US dollars. So that's about uh, uh, maybe close to two hundred thousand something like so. And then you have bleachers, which is hundred and twenty-five US dollars. And also you have grandstand, three hundred US dollar. And then you have infield, which is four hundred. 
US dollars, right? So all of the prices are quoted in US dollars. So I guess if you want to know the prices, then you know for though. Type it in a Google and just do a conversion. You understand what I say? But as I say, a lot of persons are react to it. One person left a comment saying, these prices pretty reasonable. Another person said, backstage Mwango. Anybody I buy a kidney, another person said, I'm going to have to start a GoFundMe for cycle track tickets, hotel and plane tickets, bleachers is bleachers it is. Somebody said, time for sell my soul. <laughs> Somebody said, Cartel is a Michael Jackson of the Caribbean. These are good prices. Somebody said, ticket price, not bad. Somebody said, these prices aren't really that bad, actually. Poor people can still come full joy themselves. Another person said, Cartel, how you deal with poor people? So, so obviously, when you see somebody comments them and stuff. Now, someone actually sent in a post over Pam Pinkwall, and they are actually comparing Long Walk to Freedom, which is a Bojo Bantan concert, the Burner Boy concert, and also the Chris Brown concert. And of course, you know, all of these concerts kept in Jamaica, right? So the person said, Met Joe, Cartel and Scatter, them need for the better than this. The tickets are too expensive for the average person. I have attached Bojo, Chris Brown and Burner Boy concert prices for reference. Me still ago, but it could have been lower. Zine and them sending the, the, the prices them with Bojo, Chris Brown and um, Burner Boy concert did I go for people. Zine, go put them up on the screen for like a couple seconds. You can pause it and you can check out the prices them. But you know, at the end of the day, I just feel like if people can go, them just need to stay at them yard. That's so simple, you know. If you can't go somewhere, you stay. Or you try if it. But I mean, never know for tell us about. Listen, when I change, I've said to some of the people, they might have problems with Vibes Cartel Price. Listen to this. Yo, man, I tell them, be a bad mind, people, they are Johnny Aka, you know. I watch this now. Every time now, quest time, me and Danger, Pink Wall, all of them post my picture. Every time when the vlog of them talk about me, some bad mind boy. And some big guy girl, you see me? I go and I don't want to size up with the thing. Me tell them, say, I want to change, you know. One Lexus boss, you understand? No, Vibes Cartel dropping ticket price. And me say, be a man a ball. Me say, be a girl a run up and down. I be a capping, I be a yapping. So all on them, oh, you no can style the thing. Oh, you no can say this and that boy not nah change. But when it come to buy the ticket them, some boy a cap, some boy a ball. You understand? And some girl, I run go look for them mother. Remember good no man, a one no change. You understand? So right you now, we are head for the $10,000 ticket. So eight of my friend them can come in a national stadium. You understand? Yeah man, if you no bad mind, buy the ticket and stop the bag and eyes. Be a bad mind people, you so bad mind. You understand? One thing you know, you can't talk anything about me you know, but me have no money. Remember that, on a tall bad mind. You understand? Oh, no, so on a Gaza, on a plaza. All right, my people. So let me know the thing about this. If you don't feel like the price is too expensive or if you don't feel like the price is them good, you understand what I'm saying? And let me know if you are going to go or if you are not going to go based on the prices them as it. Leave it in the comment section. So the next thing we're going to talk about is the prisoners, them revealing more um, video footage of the bad things or the bad treatment where they are getting a prison. You see it? I want to remember, you know, people, we're talking about prison, which I believe... You, you know, they on the government list for lastly get any form of upgrade. You understand what I mean? Because they want the prisoners them to face the hardship. You understand? And that's what I see a whole heap of people say. Say, you know, it in prison, you are not supposed to go there and be comfortable, especially if you commit crimes and them things. Those are some of the things I see people say. But let me play that video here. Only can tell me anything about this, what this prisoner is saying. And according to the video post, them say a dung a um, horizon. I think a horizon it say or something like that. Yeah, dung a horizon prison. So check out that clip here, my people. Yeah, yeah this is a rehabilitation. Domino. Yeah, that's a little play, Domino. Them say a lot of things undertake now the prison. See? Him? And look here. We have your bridge light. See there? We have your bridge light. And the life and the crown to step on the grill. You know how much time inmate being let? Executed and got. But them not talk it over the news. See there? We have your bridge light. And we're in a maximum security security prison. And them say it's an Irish prison. And we have your bridge light. Every inmate have your bridge light. No, no, we don't have light in our cell where the government build. And them say it's a sentence block. See there? All of we have bridge light. Be a bridge light. 
be a bridge light, see that? The circuit them burn out, all of the circuit them, we have to do a bridge light. This is how them set it, you understand? And then talk about, and I, and I try to counter at Ninja Man letter, I talk about things already being undertaken. The under undertaken go on, when the undertaker come here, and I can go on North Street. You hear that? And a man funeral parlor there, North Street, you hear? See, rehabilitation here, damn it, no. This is our reform. At this, them are used to better demand the them. You understand? At this, the man then learn to do play them, you know. So when the man left here, so them is a better person. See them? Yeah, man. So I don't know if I say, and as I said, the reactions from the people is that a prison and you know, you know, they're on vacation. So, you know, it's like the people must say anything you get at that if you take. And especially if you are, you know, a guilty person, then, you know, who don't know public stare They might say all different kind of things. But let me know anything about this in the comment section, is it? So the next thing I want to talk about is Sean Storm, who is now speaking on persons who were saying free vibes cartel, but not free Sean Storm. You understand? I mean, I say, you know some persons would have probably feel away because you know people are say free him but them not say free you and them not do a hashtag campaign or a hashtag free Sean Storm campaign but I could get to the story here so I understand what's going on is it so it says Sean Storm says he wasn't offended by the hashtag free vibes cartel campaign from Zebra to Ninja Man dance all has seen its fair share of artists hitting the slammer but the outcry for freedom has never been louder than that for vibes cartel the bail for me are Artists had people at home and abroad chanting free world bars for 13 years as he fought his way to an overturned murder conviction and freedom. The phrase became so popular that it evolved into a hashtag and even a sure way selectors and artists could evoke forwards from patrons at events. All the while, a similar campaign for a cartel, then co-accused Sean Storm was non-existent. So much so that upon their release last month, fans and media were so laser focused on cartel exiting Kingston Tower Street Adult Correctional Center that they paid little mind to Sean Storm is figurative and literal shadow while his fans have compensated for the oversight by declaring him the most loyal figure in dancehall Storm says he wasn't offended by the soul free vibes cartel movement when people say cartel indirectly you say me cause if cartel walk me have to walk like what happened he told the fix this week them thing they never get to me from Una talk about cartel and me who not talk about cartel no sing in a how much song say and me I'm brother in a certain way but people are see it now more than ever I'm love that things that do affect him though are the psychological remands of prison life that he had to battle as a free man me never like hear Kia shake he revealed as one post prison trigger he added me will they a reason with a man and you know you touch me me will say brother not touch me brother not touch me cause jail you not touch man you have the principle for say wa go on but you not go go for shake no man hand or go to shake hand the vibes party dj said he explained these triggers to those around him but can't help feel paranoid in public spaces when fans try to touch him you know i saw it go still he dismissed it gone still my all right approach me but not touch me storm said his mental fortitude amplified while behind bars explaining that he used the visual testimony of other inmates to stay focused and sane. My time different from some people time because you have people going there and not come out, he said. You have people going there, fit and up and the system like dwindle you down. What me did realize is, listen, me just have it say, me not there say so, you no. Know. My body might there, but my mind there road. And me now make that system here defeat me and feel like, you know, them can make me come like some of them money and mad out of prison. So my mind was always there road, pan me youth and my old lady and I can't wait for go back to them. I just go and kill some time in prison. Yes, it. So that's how Sean Storm have to say. I never really mind people say free vibes cartel and not free Sean Storm. Because once you say free vibes cartel, you are basically saying free Sean Storm. You understand my people? So let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. And next thing we're going to touch on quick and fast. Queen Africa. She has big up popcorn theme loyalty towards vibes cartel. Right, my people? And it's like... The reason why um, Queen Africa talked about this, what day it was alleged, say, 
Popcorn and Sean Stam, you know, did have a little thing I go on, a little division I go on. And Queen Africa did say, you know, she not support that a unity she had deal with and them something. They understand? So she big up Popcorn for always stay loyal to Vibes Cartel and them thing they see. So I can run that clip here quick and fast. We didn't have itch on it. And we just have to move on to the next topic, is it? Mm-hmm. I said to Popcorn, say, youth, my sister, you did choose God, yeah? And me know you're in a sticky position right now. A very sticky position. But let your conscience set you free, my son. And continue for respect the artists we bring you in the industry same way. Continue for respect that. Because we watch you over the years since the artists got jail. And see, say, all I was said, you still always show loyalty in a year way. And we see that. And we see the narrative we are shaped. We see the narrative we are shub. We see the division we are try brew. That you soon hear say cartel and popcorn are war. But we forbid it in the name of the Mosai. No more division amongst the youth them mind. Yeah man, so that's how Queen Africa for say she does a big up popcorn for his loyalty towards vibes cartel no matter where people did want to say yes, my people so let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section so the next thing we're going to talk about is some other artists them who actually won an award at the caribbean music awards last night and also missy vibes cartel make a post a big up um dance all queen spice yes it so we could get to the story here so we can you know get a little more information upon some of the other people in my win so it's a Masika Spice, Dexter Dapps, and TJ win big at Caribbean Music Awards. The 2024 staging of the Caribbean Music Awards CMA saw the best of Caribbean music being honored on Thursday with dancehall artists like Masika, Spice, Dexter Dapps, and TJ all sweeping up awards at Thursday's show. Created to recognize, honor, and celebrate talent who have made significant contributions to the enhancement of Caribbean music and culture, Carib MA kicked off its second staging in Flatbush, Brooklyn at the King's Theatre last night. Several Jamaicans walked away with awards yesterday, with TJ walking home the award for a music video of the year. The artist received the award for his viral hit Drift, which was released last year. The track's music video was amassed over 21 million views since it released last May. TJ accepted the CMA alongside dancer Gabidan, who created the viral choreography for Drift. Dexadops claimed the CMA for a dancer performer of the year. The Forever Singer was nominated alongside TJ, Shensia Spice, Ding Dong, and Skeng. Nominated for dancer album of the year were Idonia, An Occupied Mind, or Far Occupied Mind, Beanie Man Sima, Popcorn, Great Easy, Massacre Generation of Kings, Bounty Killer, and Shams, Time Bomb, Valiant 414, and Byron Messiah. I know love massacre generation of king which was released on december the 1st 2023 claimed the cma for album of the year released via def jam recordings and universal music group the 17 track projected featured collaborations with artists such as chronic law and friday and tracks such as stars are us and reverse time Queen of the Dancehall Spice went on to take home the big award for the night, Artist of the Decade. Spice, who was one of the hosts for the award show, did not expect to win the award and expressed her gratitude and surprise during her acceptance speech. I've been through so much for the past decade. Everybody who knows me and all my besties out there, this one is because of you. So big ups to all of the besties who have been supporting me for the past decade. It really and truly means a lot because only you know the journey and only you know the story this one takes me by surprise spice said yes it my people so i want to congratulate spice again also we say vibes cartel post up spice and you know him say congrats queen you know cartel gonna support spice no matter what is it anyway my people let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section so the next thing we're gonna talk about is king and skilly bang linking up to shoot a music video you understand my people and i think king and skilly bang featured on a track you know i'm not sure if a Nicki minaj have the two of them on a track i don't remember but you know you hardly see this and plus one time people did have it says king and skilly bang you know did I go at each other or whatever it may be? You see me? Not go at each other like this track wise, but does you know, people just think that them never, you know, whatever each other. But anyway, we see Jiggy D post up a couple of photos with King and Skilly Bang, yes, it and you know, of course, people are react to it. You know, we even see um one comment say 
skill is stand on business. No time for ego, egotistic behavior. Yes, it. And that's true. Still, no, skilly bang is all about the business. But as me say, it's definitely a good look, my people. So, as, you know, it look like them have something to forward out very soon and thing. Yes, me. And Jiggy D, as me said, it posts that and him tag skilly bang and skin. And him says, Spain to East. Spain to East, we think they're not jamming up. Yes, it. So, that are the caption we impose. Yes, it, my people. So let me know when you think about this. May I look forward for see this still. You see, this, I think it's going to be a banger. Two good artists. You see it. Anyway, my people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. And since we talk about Jiggy D, <laughs> we see a video with Beanie, man. I talk about Jiggy D, father, scammy, man, something. You see it. So I know the full video. So we don't really know how the argument end. But you don't know a little piece of video was shared. Hopefully we get to see the full footage. But the little part of see is where I beat him and I tell Jiggy D or him father scam him and something like that. Here's it, my people. So, yeah, check out that clip here. You know, say the first man scam me, or your father. First man in my life to ever scam me, or your father. Yeah, man. You give me a hundred, um, a hundred pound, but it was, um, Scottish pound. But as me, as a youth, you would look at you know. England at the time. Yeah, man, so as I say, we well, hope we can get to see the recite maybe at a later date for find out what happened. But that is the piece of video that is out there right now. You see it. Anyway, my people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. And thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bless upon yourself until we drop the next video. I'm out.